Hey everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady 1, and guess what? It is almost time. It is almost time for doilies! Yay! I've been working hard all weekend getting them packaged and getting them ready to get listed and everything like that. So, they are not listed yet. I'm still working on it, but I had a couple minutes, so I wanted to do the video and put it up there and let you all know that they are coming this week um, within the next couple of days. I don't know for certain when I'm going to get them up, but they are coming. So, let me show you what we've got. I know it's been a long time. I know it's been a really long time coming, but finally, finally, I've had some time. So anyway, so let's start. We have some doilies and we have some trim. So let's start with the doilies. And the first doily I have here is this one. This one, okay, this time around, I've named my doilies after um, characters in Jane Austen's work. I decided that we were going to do something literary this time. So the doilies are all the female names and then the trims are named after some of the gentlemen in the books. But anyway, so this is Lydia. This is the first one. This, um, it's evening and my lighting isn't the great. So the colors might not be, um, the most accurate. And actually the pictures on the listings aren't that great either because I suck with a camera. I'm trying, but anyway, so this is Lydia. Lydia is about three and a half inches in diameter. It's an, kind of like an acru color, or really, it's not really cream and it's not really tan, somewhere in the middle. And there are 12 in a set for $3.75. So that's Lydia. Next, we have Lucy, and Lucy's red. Ooh, something a little bit different. So, and the color is horrible in this lighting, but it is a true red, like fire engine red, like Christmas red. Um, yeah, like the crayon red. This is red. And these are about two and a half inches in diameter. Now I have left these little fringes on here, but if I was going to use it, I would probably go through and cut them all off so that you just had this little flower here. But you can do it however you want. I just did not have time to do literally cut everything off um, with as, as long as it was taking me to get these listed. I didn't want to take one more moment for that. But anyway, two and a half inches in diameter. They are, there are 24 in a set and they are 550 for the set. And again, they are red. I was hoping first of all, to have those listed by Christmas. Well, you can see that didn't happen. And then when Christmas passed, I was hoping to have them listed by Valentine's day. And as you can see, that didn't happen either, but here they are. And maybe you can hang on to them until next year. Okay. Next we have this one, which is called Mary. This is, um, more of a tan color, a lighter tan. Um, a little bit darker than that, that, that a crew, they are like an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in diameter. And there are 24 in a set for 250. And these are such cutie little guys, gals, sorry, gals, Mary. Okay. Next we have Charlotte. Charlotte's a cream color and they're about an inch and three quarters in diameter. There are 24 in a set for 250. Now I will tell you that these Charlotte ones, there is a lot of variation in color on this doily, um, on these doilies. There's a lot of discoloration going on. I pulled out the ones that were very clearly damaged, like dirt or stains or things like that. Um, but it was just impossible. And I don't even know if you can probably, t probably can't see real well there in that lighting, but there were just a lot of different shades. I didn't put anything in here that I wouldn't use myself. Um, so if it was really obviously damaged, it came out of the pile, but otherwise they went into the bag. So Charlotte, 24 in a set for 250. Okay. Next we have Margaret. Margaret is, goodness, having a hard time here. Margaret is a white doily about two and a half to three inches in diameter. They vary a little bit in size. The ones in the center were a little bit larger from probably having the weight of the edges being pulled and the ones on the edges, um, on the edges of the tablecloth were a little bit smaller. So two and a half to three inches in diameter, 24 in a set for $5. Um, and like I said, these are white. They may have a little bit of discoloration as well. Again, anything that was clearly obviously damaged, stained, I pulled out. Um, but some of them you might find a little bit on the edge that's slightly discolored. Again, nothing that I wouldn't use. Um, it just became too difficult and there was too much waste with trying to take every tiny little flaw 
every, you know, take every flaw into consideration and remove every doily that had a flaw in it. Um, Cause these are old, they're old and they were used and they were loved. So, you know, I, I try to do that as, keep them as beautiful as I can and took out the really hideous ones, but there you have it. Okay, this is Mary Ann. Mary Ann, they're like four to four and a half inches in diameter. Again, some variation in size due to the pulling as the tablecloth lay on the table. This, I'm calling this white. It's kind of hard. In some lights, it looks like a really light cream or an off-white, and in other lights, it looks white. So the official name on the listing will be white, but they're kind of creamy white. 12 in a set for $5. I just think that's a really pretty doily. Okay. Next we have Jane. Jane is also a white doily. Again, kind of mm, off whitish to white. Two and a half, about two and a half inches in diameter. 24 in a set for $5. This is Kitty. And this is an interesting looking little doily. Okay, whoops, you can see that, that that thread has come apart. And a fair number of them have come apart or are missing one thread. Um, you could use it like that. When I use them, I'm actually going to cut off those little fringes and end up with a doily like that. But because sometimes when you layer, it's fun to have those little things sticking out. I did leave them on, but they're about an inch and a half in diameter and that's measuring the actual doily, not these little wingy things here. And this is like an, an acru color. This is from the same tablecloth that uh, Lydia here came from. And there are 12 in a set for $1.50. Okay, moving right along here, we have Harriet and Harriet came from the same tablecloth as Marianne here. These are about an inch and three quarter in diameter. Again, I'm calling it white, but it's kind of a white to an off white to a creamy color. Um, 24 in a set for 350. Um, again, there may be very slight discoloration around some of the edges of it. Again, removed all the really horribly damaged ones, but we just can't always have perfection. And I like them that way. On my vintage albums, I kind of like the little bit of um, imperfection. And it's not, it's not all of them. It's not a lot of them, but. Okay, here we have Emma. I really like this doily. I think I've had one like this in the past, only I think they were white. This is about two and a half inches in diameter. It's a tan color. There are 24 in a set for $5.50. Um, I believe on the listing, it doesn't quite look as tan as it is here. I'm trying with the camera, but they are tan. This is one of the darker ones. And actually it might be the darkest one that I have. This listing, release, whatever. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe this one's a little bit darker. This is Lizzie. Lizzie is tan as well. About two and a half inches in diameter. 24 in a set for $5. I just think this one is so neat. You can use it as it is. You could cut the edge off and just have that little star in the center and then keep the edge to layer maybe under other flowers or things. Um, but I just think that's a really pretty doily. Okay, whoops. This is the biggest doily of this release and I have very few of them. But this is Caroline about six inches in diameter and it's a cream color and there are six in a set for 350 and finally the last doily we have is Eleanor now Eleanor came from a piece that had a lot of different colors in it they clearly used different colors of thread when they were making this so you can see like there's kind of a tan or an a crew and there's a cream color um, there are about three or so different colors in here. And oh, look, as you can see, this one has two colors. So I did not bother to separate them out. I figured that was just going to take too much time. So each set has an assortment. Some of them may have ones that have the two colors, like that one. Some of them don't. There weren't tons of those. 
Um, but you will get a variety of colors in this set. And there are 24 in this set. They're about three and three quarter inches in diameter. And it is 625 for the set. So those are all the new doilies for this time. I actually do have another tablecloth or two here now um, that I'm working on. I may be able to add them to the listings if I get them done, but it's a pretty big one. So know that I'm always kind of always working on it and may add at various times, but for now, I think this is it. Now for some trims. I was at my favorite little, um, little fabric outlet where the wall of trim, as I call it is, and sometimes they have things on the sale table and recently they haven't been really great but the last time I went holy bonanza there was a ton of eyelet and if you know me you know that I love eyelet trim particularly with the unfinished edge so I bought several um, big spools of it at a fantastic price and so there's no way I can use it on so I'm passing that on to you so these are all a cream color so I will show them all to you this is Oh, can't tell really well. It's they're all cream colored. This is Bingley, is what I'm calling this one, and this has those um, really pretty little hearts along the edge. It's about an inch and a half in diameter. If you take like the low point to the tall point, it's about an inch and a half. You will get ten yards of this eyelet for three dollars. Yeah, that's a good deal. Like I said, I got a really good deal, so you guys get a really good deal too. So that's Bingley. The next one we have is Knightley, Mr. Knightley. Mm -hmm. You can identify where all these characters from. I'm going to know you're a Jane Austen fan. Um, this is also 10 yards of a cream color. It's about an inch in diameter. And that's just a pretty little scalloped eyelet. And that is also $3 for the 10 yards. Next we have Brandon. And Brandon is the widest one I have at 4 inches. That's a cream color. It's got that really pretty little floral scallop at the edge. Um, five yards are what you get of this one, and that is $2 for the five yards. Okay, why am I trying to put these back in right now? I don't know. Okay, next we have Elton. Elton is, there's 10 yards of this one. This is a little fancy guy. A little scallop edge with all the little eyelet and then the little flowers. It's um, about three inches wide and it's 350 for 10 yards. That's a lot of eyelet. Here, I'm not even going to bother to put that back in. Okay, next we have Willoughby. Willoughby with more hearts for those of you who like hearts. Again, I should have had that up by Valentine's Day, but I did not. Can you see the hearts on there? There they are. Um, there are 10 yards of this. It is two inches wide in the cream color and it's three dollars for the 10 yards. And finally the last one we have is Darcy. There are five yards of this trim. It is three inches wide. It is a little bit darker than the other ones. Not much. I'd still call it a cream color but it's got these really pretty flowers with the stems and that slight scallop. Um, three inches. Did I say three inches in diameter? And it's 250 for five yards. So those are all the new things that will be going up on my Zibit store, which is the paper bag lady. Um, sometime this week, within the next couple of days, I would say, I will also be running a sale on things that are currently in my store. I think there's about 12 items left. There's not a lot. There's a couple trims and some doilies from past releases and everything that is currently in the store, not these new releases, but all the other things will be 30% off as well. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Give me a holler. Um, keep your eye out for the new listings to go up. And I hope you all had a fantastic weekend and will be enjoying your day off tomorrow. I'm assuming most of you have the day off tomorrow for President's Day. Maybe. I don't know. My kid does. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye.